Wait. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? If Roman approves it, I don't see why not. Seems like fun. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Smells good.
This hasn't worked in a long time. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. <laughs> oh, you scared me! He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. It's better than the alternative. I'd rather she have a shorter, happy experience in this world than one full of fear and death and horror. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... and now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It was so good to be there. Jesus. Largum. L My God. L Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. 
Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. We just barely got our stuff back last time. And that had nothing to do with us. We just got lucky. Whatever went down was between them. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. That is strange. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. And all because some stranger lied and told us he had medicine. Can't trust nobody. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie. Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing boat here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Give him some food, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith, and get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. 
I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. What was that all about? Probably nothing. Don't worry about it. He said it was important. Yeah, well, these days everything's important to Roman. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. How come no one's watering these? Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing. And then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel... I don't know... Oppressive. We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? No. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer.
You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Fine. Go ahead. No! Roman said he wants you to do it. I'll do it when it's my turn. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too. Did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? You putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just hurry up, ready! Here, man, shoot! Dude, take this thing. Get him, man! Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, Wyatt. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He is fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. 
Dude, you are covered in that guy's blood. I know, Wyatt. My shirt is soaked. It's like... I just... Why didn't they say anything? Did you mean to pull the trigger? I don't know. I was so keyed up, I just... Damn it. Look, Wyatt. All I know is those guys had me all... jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. Sorry, man, I... Don't sweat it, man. Let there be light, huh? Dude, shut up. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Don't talk about your dick. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Really? See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her. And she told me. Thank, loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. Shit! Ah! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. It didn't look human. Alive. Whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. I can't, man. Man, don't say that. You have to know. Dude, you have to. Well, I don't, Eddie, okay? Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. What's that way out in the road? Stop messing around. We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not gonna help. Okay, okay. Jeez. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. Look. Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there! There's no way I'm getting out of this car. Forget it. What if that was you, man? After all the shit that's happened in the past couple months, where's your compassion, motherfucker? Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. You go if you want. Want? Why would I want to? I just... We just have to. That's all there is to it. Okay. Well... Shit, okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. No way, man. You're nuts. I'm clear as shit, Wyatt. This is the only way it's fair. Fair? 
How is this fair? You shot that guy back there. You hit that thing in the road. None of that shit is my fault. All right, I'll go. That's okay. That makes sense, okay? Just go out there. Take a look. Where's the gun again? Man, just shut up. Let's do this. Loser goes? Sounds good. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Man. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. What the fuck, dude? Play the game, come on. One, two, three, go. Shit, man. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Again. One, two, three, go. Scissors? Who fucking picked scissors? All right, dude. This is it. Shit. One, two, three, go. Jesus H, how many times is this gonna happen? One, two, three, go. Damn it, I almost picked scissors, but I changed it at the last fucking second. Looks like it's me. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. Shit, where the hell do they go? This is the smallest hoopty in the world. Hey, maybe I can see better with that guy on. Bet Eddie's upset about that. He loves this car. I'm staying right here. Ah! 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 
Ah, son of a bitch! Damn it, I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know you bro! Clear up soon? What am I, the traffic man? I'm supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. I'm gonna get written up for this. You're gonna be this oh, annoying relax. for the next two it's hours? Not your fault. Get used to it. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Oh, shit! Come on, Vince. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The windows hey, don't... Hey, Justin, open. see that right, guy man. in the beat-up truck? Right. I bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit, I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. Okay, you were falsely accused. Nobody's judging you here, man. Yeah, the judge took care of that. My lawyer's gonna be here. Tell you about what, this. guys, I ain't afraid to say it. Jobs when he I'm hears really about missing this. my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerd, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up. I thought you back took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit and tell them you didn't know what you were doing? Or I'll set you I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, man. I gotta admit, I'd say anything to get out of doing more time. You guys are messed up. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... A pyramid scheme. Hey, if nobody got hurt, no harm done. They'll get their money back. Most of it. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Oh, ho When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, 
I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I killed some assholes. Whoa. Damn. He's not lying. Are you? And how do you know? Like I said, I'm good at lying. And he's not. Dead serious. Damn, man. How'd they get you? Threw the gun in the trash. And? Some stupid dog knocked the can over the next day. Kid found it and turned it in. You gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not bad. What do you think, Justin? What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck you? It? Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, man. Christ. What the hell is going on? Crabtree, knock it off! Hey, get in there, man! Sit down, goddammit! Anyone know this guy? Nah, man. No idea. Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back there He's now. gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Bitch, you're the tough guy here. We gotta get in there, right? I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid app. We can't do anything with these damn chains on. Shit! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time, goddammit! You gotta get, you get in get there! Get yourself in there and wake that shit up, Come on, man. man! Come on, boy! Get back there! Okay, asshole. Let him go! Get in between them, goddammit! He's gonna kill that boy! Crabtree? Last what do you warning! Mean? Don't you say that! Go, goddammit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? Goddamn it, boy! Damn. Answer me back there! That guy's there. still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He made a move, or you don't know. Which one? He's still breathing. He's uh. Fuck! Fuck! You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Don't, don't call it in yet. Just, just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. This ain't our problem, Danny. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up. You hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. Somebody do something. You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? You see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. We're man. not going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, drive. I said Let's go, we're man. staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna. Holy oh, shit! Jesus. Oh my God. Hey, hey, you need to call someone. You hear me? We need to. Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck, fuck, fuck! He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get him. Shit, what, what do you think, Vince? Come on! We gotta do something! I'm trying to think. You better think fast, man. Find a weapon. Right, man, yeah. Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It was underneath it. Oh, fuck me. Get the gun, man. Get up, Vince. Hurry up. Can't hold this. Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Oh! Watch it, man! Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. Damn it. 
What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Nothing. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot fuck in. Fuck you, man. You gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! Yeah! Try the chains! Vince, the window! This is well to the floor. Chance of busting. Point. Take out the windows! Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way! Can't we just... shoot off the chains? No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's throat? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun. We gotta do this. Back off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Vince, what the fuck? I know you got the balls, man, okay? I know! You're gonna do me and not this rapist fuck? Come on! You know no, I'm a good guy, man! I'm not supposed to be- I'm sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! Justin's just gonna slow you down. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Building a good community here, we want to keep it that way. Of course. <laughs> So good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you bits! <gasps> don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. 
People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Wyatt... Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Chell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were gonna defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Well, why not, Russell? If they have food and medicine and... and... Yeah, medicine. Look... I don't trust her, Bonnie. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. Yeah, I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. It's a safe place for everyone. Criminal activity isn't tolerated within our walls, period. You don't have to worry about bandits or walkers or anyone else. We look out for each other. Is that clear? Yeah, clear. I don't know. I don't really believe in safe places. Not anymore. I know it's hard, but this is your only chance. We're not gonna be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. <laughs>